video we will be setting up domain controller on a windows server 2016 so first let's open the server manager so this is a brand new server which has been installed in my lab setup and what i need to do is first i need to add features and then set up the domain controller so right now my server is a standalone server the name is dc win 2016 and it's part of work group so i'll go to the dashboard again i'll click on add rules and features i click next next i have only one server so i select it and click next here i add the active directory domain services i click on add features and also this server will serve as my DNS server as well. So I'm selecting the DNS server as well. I click next, next, next. And I just need to click next once again. And then I'll click install and the installation will start. So the feature installation is completed. As you can see here, uh, this provides me the option to promote this server to a domain controller or else I can uh, click here and from here itself I can click promote the server to a domain controller so I'll close this wizard I'll click from here and I click it so this is the first server in my forest which will be the domain controller so option one doesn't work as uh, add a domain controller to an existing domain doesn't uh, apply to my case add a new domain to an existing forest also is not applicable add a new forest so i'm going to create a new forest this is my first domain controller so here i get, need to give the name of the domain that i will create so let me name it virtual lab.net I click on next so here I need to select the functional level of the new forest uh, depending in environment what kind of servers I have what uh, I, I can select this option from here but uh, since this is a lab environment so I'm just keeping things default and keeping them to Windows Server 2016. Uh, since this is my first domain controller, so these two first two options uh, will be ticked. And here I need to specify the DSRM password. I click next. Um, so this warning can be ignored because uh, I, I don't have a DNS server as of now so that's why this warning is coming but it, it can be ignored and I can click next so the NetBIOS name so this is uh, something uh, which I can keep default or uh, I, I can change it to a, a shorter name so the limitation is 15 characters so the NetBIOS name for my uh, environment will be virtual lab let me name it vlab for easier reference and then i'll click on next so here i need to specify the location of the ad database log files and sysball so in a real-time environment i might have different locations and folder where i might uh, specify specifically keep the database folder the log folder uh, here i'm keeping things default as it's a lab environment i click on next so um before i move to the next step uh, i can just verify what are the things that i have already selected i can view the script so this gives me the powershell script so in case i am doing this same installation sometimes in future i can copy the script and uh, run it so i click next So I'm ready to do the installation. I'll click on install. After the installation completes, the server will reboot automatically. So the installation completed and uh, the server will reboot 
automatically right now. Now that the server has booted up, so I'll log in with the domain credentials into this first domain controller. So this is my NetBias name of the domain controller. That is, um, this is my domain, so VLAB slash administrator. I'll quickly check if my Active Directory is working fine or not. So as I can see, the Active Directory features have been installed and they are visible in my all programs. So my domain controller has been set up and it's working fine. 